Well, hello everybody. This is Rusty from Possum Bayou. On the way home from work today, I noticed I could hear a train just east of where I was crossing across the tracks. And I looked down the tracks and I could see this yellow locomotive, so I knew that was a Mississippi Export locomotive. And where it was was at the location of the a little transfer area between the CSX and the Mississippi Export. First video clip is going to be just as quick as I get to the library right there. And we'll see the train back up and everything like that. Then I'll have some other pieces in there too. So let's get on with the video. This next clip we're going to see, they'll pull up, they'll get these tank cars, they'll back the tank cars in with the hoppers on this particular track, and then they'll pull the locomotive up by itself, and then they will, will leave. You'll see, if you look, you can kind of see the guy, he gets out and he sets the brake wheels on, on the tank cars. That'll hold them in place. They are, they are LPG, liquefied petroleum gas tank cars, so kind of a safety thing there for sure. And then at the end, you'll see where I'll, I'll just show the locomotive running light as it leaves. And I'll show that last clip will be where they tore down an old building there. And you'll, you'll see this at the other end of the train.
You see a guy sitting a handbrake on that tank car right behind that locomotive. This little spot say in here is the interchange from the CSX and Mississippi Export Railroad. Sitting a brake on the second tank car. Third tank car, actually, now. Doesn't quite look like it with all the trees around here because it's a South Mississippi thing. You got trees are everywhere. But it is in the middle of town. I mean, I'm not far from downtown. Switched over to the other track. I just caught them coming home from work day. I'm not sure if they're dropping off or picking up, but it looks like they dropped it off. Leaving that one track open, they set the hoppers and the tank cars on the one track. I'm gonna go down the street and see if I can catch them. Looks like they were doing a run around. If I'm lucky, I can catch them. This next clip is me. I'm on the other side of the tracks now, com pretty much completely opposite from where I was doing the other video, part of the video. And I'm right behind the, uh, I'm basically right there by the Pascagoula, Mississippi post office. And you can see some of the, the, the rail cars and all that are there. There's an extra siding there along parallel to the CSX main line there. And then there's two, at least two tracks on the other side of where those cars are, the trees, where those tank cars and other hoppers are over there. I'm not sure how they work that, but there's enough tracks there. You know, they may have two separate trains or maybe CSX will pick up one local train there or whatever. Then the next clip at the very end will be me just showing you basically on the opposite side of where all these buildings are. There's a street that runs parallel of those tracks or just give an idea you know if you have an issue with the lpg tank cars that it would impact other than just woods right here in south mississippi if you have an empty lot you wait a week or two you go back well you got stuff growing on it so trees there's a lot of trees around town i mean there's a lot of trees in this area so just just get a nice view kind of a where you go down this uh, jackson avenue i believe the name of the street and you can see some of the live bugs and stuff over the street and some of the businesses and all in the area. And that'll be the last clip of this video. This is the other side of the track. Now this is a different set of cars. You can see they're the ones I was filming before between there. But these are set out on a siding directly. I imagine so CSS can pick them up. But those cars are over there are set to be picked up as well. I mean, you see over there the town, there's not very much further they can go. There's two, at least two crossings over there. So they couldn't stick this two long strings over there. I'm not 100% sure what's going on there, but it's filmed here before very interesting a lot of tank cars and hoppers a lot of chemical stuff around here
A uh, little interesting to find after work. Uh, you can see back to some of the businesses and all in here. You can see the train on the siding. Very interesting little situation to model here. There's some tracks up there on the other side that hold cars as well. Here, so I did kind of see those tank cars. You can see we are actually not too far from town. Actually, there's a whole nother street back there that's as much business here when you get around here. There's a just to give you an idea of the need to tie those tank cars down like three or four of them out like they did this is the street just running parallel you may can see you kind of see the cars back there through the trees kind of hard to film anything down here because of the trees so there's kind of a lot of businesses and all in here that road i was on a minute ago filming that was parallel to this one just like the track is Kind of a pretty drive through here. The, up, the old oak trees and everything. If you look back there, you can see the tank cars I was looking at before. So that's why you got to tie them tank cars down right here, because <laughs> looking for petroleum gas wouldn't be a real good thing to get loose on you. Anyway, just a little quick tour here. Coming over here to the main street, and yep, we got palm trees in Mississippi too. like the other end of the string right there i think they must went back to the engine house light all right good catch after work i suppose yeah this is just where they left the other end of that string off you can still hear them going in the background over different rail crossings headed back into the other city next to us where they're around where their engine shed is so catch you later well i hope you enjoyed the video Nice little neat, just catch after work kind of picture. Anyway, before the videos, I'm going to tell a cat story. I don't know, I have two cats in my house. My dog passed away a couple years, and I think I've told a dog story in some of my beginning videos. I'm going to tell this crazy cat story. Well, last night, we had a little thunderstorm moved in. Probably eight, well, It was probably about 9 o'clock at night. So one of my cats, the young cat's in the house, my old cat, the older cat, she was born in 2005. For some reason, she didn't like to stay in the house at all. She used to love the in here, but now, nope. But it was raining, and all of a sudden, the storm blows up. And I mean, when it thunders, the whole house shakes. And I live in a about an 80-year-old house, and this thing's built like a rock. And this whole thing was shaking. So I go to look out the door on the front porch, and boom, all of a sudden, the cat, she just screams by me. It took me two hours to figure out where that cat was hiding. She finally come out. After about the fifth time, I, you know, shook a cat feed bag. Lord. Anyway, it was just funny just to see her. She just ran right between my feet and boom. I never even see where she went. It was so fast. I had to bribe her out with some food, but it took a while. That lightning had her plum freaked out. Anyway, that's my cat story. It's funny. I may tell some stories. I'll go back and tell them stories in my videos. I have nothing to do with the trains. They're just funny. You just had to bend here, I guess, seeing the cat, but... Anyway, it's rained like the last two or three days and probably going to rain tomorrow too. So, just how it is. 
Well, I hope you enjoyed the video and I've rambled on enough about cats. So I'll see you next time.